How to ensure each battery cell leaves zero gap with the bus bar when laser welding? Let's find out. The fastest and most precise way to perform battery laser welding is by having a remote laser head above the battery module. With this setup, the laser head can fire on many cells without changing position. But for this to work, one major challenge needs to be addressed, the clamping. Each shell must be clamped to the bus bar before both are welded together, and there must be zero gap between them. Zero gap laser welding requires clamping that handles changes in cell and bus bar positioning, and also changes in battery module design. There are two general approaches to clamping for battery welding. First, dynamic clamping, and second, clamping plates. A cl clamping plate can be used to apply pressure on all welding position at once. This solution is fast, but adjusting for deviation is more difficult. With dynamic clamping tools, like we have here in this battery laser welding machine, we apply pressure on each single cell. This allows additional components to be attached to the tooling to more easily accommodate cell-to-cell -cell variation. By using robots like in this setup, additional space is available for a localized fume extraction nozzle mounted on the robot arm, an air blower to redirect contaminants when needed, and a shielding gas could be supplied directly to the welding zone. For more info, click on the links in the description.